half a leg in. And hello, it's Fo, and welcome back to Turbine City. Last time we were adding a few more feeder lanes onto our highway, helping our industrial traffic get easier access to get goods on the highway. And get a few more in various places where we can. Get a few more lanes coming off the highway, feeding directly into our commercial areas. Maybe up here we could uh, get one coming off to feed uh, directly in here, in the Coleridge Heights. See if we can get it underneath this uh, pedestrian pathway. Switch down to three lanes where we're taking a line off. It's not as important when you're coming off the highway. But we can do it. Try and help the, uh, the traffic. We've destroyed our pathway, but we can rebuild it and it's not too much of a problem. Get it in as tight to this building as possible. This is quite high up. Mm, just lowered the road a little bit there. Grab the wrong node to bring down. That's fine. a little bit more natural. More realistic, because not every road's that straight. If some people come down at the end of the path, they're disappointed they can't get off. <laughs> Let's see if we can help them out. They're turning back the other way. I think we're too close to the pavement. I'm going to have to bring the end of the pathway back a bit. Try and get it in as close to this building as possible. There's the most room to come down. Yeah, I think we're still too close. There we go. So we'll pop it in and then we can move it. To make it less steep. People can get onto it from the pavement. Try and focus on uh, making the slope a bit more gentle. I think we can press control and grab multiple points and bring them down together. Hmm. Just missed this point. Strange. Oh, that didn't quite work, but we can move them all manually. I tend to move all the points individually. Takes time to set and tweak it, but it's worth it. Make it look nice. And have it be a relatively gentle slope. So people can walk up it without a problem. Split the difference. See, it's quite high going over the highway itself. I'll lower this down a bit. It's more realistic, gentle slope. We can try and bring this side down to match it up. Again, you can use the align heights want to do it faster, but I tend to sit and tweak it manually. Just grab a node and use the page up and page down to raise and lower the points. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more on this side, so 
so the very last section isn't so steep. If I bring this point down as well. It's looking better already. Hmm, it looks like there's more people coming flooding across the path. It's just where we destroyed it and then we've rebuilt it. It's back to the same traffic it had before. I do love these paths. Lots of people using them. It's been a while since we've been zoomed in this close to see the people. Let's see if I can get a first person camera shot of someone walking over the bridge. We see how steep it is. I would like to get it directly facing the pavement. Facing the pavement a little bit more so it's easier for people to get on at this end. The building that was here that we were going up against has disappeared, it's been abandoned. So that gives us a bit more wiggle room. And even it out on this side and make it as gentle as possible. There's someone going on the bridge, so pause the game. We've already got the first person camera activated, so we just click on a person. Click this little icon here. Then we can press space to start the simulation again. We see it from their perspective. And they're going up the walkway. It's nice to see your city from a different perspective, from the eyes of a citizen. Empire State Building looks great. Yeah, when you're working so much from top down, far up in the sky, it's definitely better to get a decent perspective on things. People go into the underground and get to see the underneath of the city. There is a mod where you can change that and you can see actual stations when you go underground. I never bothered with that. Test amused me when they go underground and you see that. So yeah, you can check out uh, someone else's perspective. I would like to get a first person perspective from inside the big wheel. I don't think people actually get in it. I think the tourists and visitors and things just um, come to look at it rather than get in it. Yeah, it looks like there's a ticket booth but there's no one in it. And people sort of queue up but no one gets on. It's a bit disappointing this person that we're seeing from the perspective of. They're disappointed, they can't get on the big wheel. They're gonna try and fold themselves into this uh, picnic bench. No, nope, they've realised they can't actually move their legs independently like that. So they're just gonna chill. Yeah, it's something a bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the speed of the day-night cycle all the way down to 1 128th. That means that uh, time will pass just super slowly. Not say if we need to come back and reset it back to the morning again. It looks like we've got uh, a plateauing situation on our hands. Tempted just to keep making little tweaks and improvements and let it run. And not worry too much if it's going to dip below the half a million. And when it does, it's just going to push us into getting the Demand Master mod. It's so much of a game changer lose perspective on doing all the normal things that you should be doing. So 
we'll try all these, make sure we've got all these simpler improvements in place. We've maybe got a couple more areas rezoned. Change over some more of our industrial to the specialist industrial. So as I say, when we turn on Demand Master and everything starts filling back in, we're going to lose perspective. Hopefully it's going to re-establish the connections between the commercial and the industrial. If not, we might have to try getting the infinite goods to fix the commercials problem. I don't know how that's going to affect our industrial. We're probably going to reduce the amount of customers they're going to get rather than improve it. So we'll have to see how that goes. The best case scenario is that when we re-establish the demand and everything grows back in, simulation forgets it ever had a problem and just starts working again. It has happened to me before but I'm maybe being optimistic. Of course when I do the playthrough and I'm recording it and putting the videos on YouTube that would be the time that uh, it doesn't go right. I'll try to remain optimistic. more of these highway connections on the go. Help get all our industrial goods on the highway system as soon as possible. And help them come off to deliver it. Maybe get directly into the roundabout off of here. Fill in a tiny bit of zoning that's missed. Got loads queued up. If and when the simulation does fall back the other way, I can maybe just remove some of the zoning before we turn on the demand master, tidy things up a bit. We've still got a couple more car parking structures we could try and find to take up some of the space. Get some feeder lanes going off the highway to deliver goods into these commercial areas because so they seem to be struggling on their own. Fairly easy, just make a couple of connections here and get this building moved. Medical clinic, just a little bit. Get these in over there. See how we do. A couple more little tweaks. Take up a little bit more of the zoning. And then we can let it run. As I say, it does seem to be plateauing. I'm pretty sure it's going to fall back the other way. The little improvements that we've made seem to have had less impact. Every time it sort of swung. But we'll keep working our way at it. As I say, we've got Demand Master in the back pocket. I'm pretty sure it's going to have a significant effect. Hopefully, it's going to be our savior help cure some of the problems we've got in the city. I guess we'll just have to let it run, find out. You never know, maybe we'll let it run and the population will keep uh, rising. Well, it sort of went under the half million and went back above it. So it's still in the plateauing stage. Hasn't really started its descent yet. I'm going to 
diesel in this chunk here. Just so when we do turn on the demand master, got less soda to worry about. Move this post office further away from the houses. Just to make sure the noise pollution isn't gonna affect them. Take some of this commercial away from here. I think even with these extra lanes coming off the highway, still a pretty useless area. Commercial really doesn't want to be here. Do want to leave some, because people here don't want to have to travel too far to do some shopping. So they will need some commercial. Pretty successful over here. So I'll get some of it removed. As I say, it's less pressure from when we turn on the demand master. Yeah, we definitely seem to be losing people. Let it run. We've lost a fair chunk. Enough to confirm we're definitely on the uh, downswing. So we'll get uh, a few more of our things that we got off the workshop in that we haven't used yet. We've got the Christ the King Park, which is a small park with a Jesus statue in it. Pretty small, but something we haven't used before. We've got our two parking garages, the large one and the medium one. Let's see where we can find space for them. This large one is pretty large. Not going to fit in many spaces. So we'll see where we can pop them in. Place a little bit of the zone in here. It's no biggie. Yeah, if we get these in, then we get the advanced parking turned on in the traffic manager mod start using these solely rather than relying on putting their cars in their pockets which is rather unrealistic yeah these ones are kind of chunky medium one on the other hand is a sort of perfect size that it's four squares deep so it fits along any road that we've put in. Even when we've got our really tight uh, zone in, where we've got the small roads uh, packed as close as they can be to maximize the zone in. And still fit this medium one in. Yeah, it's a good size. this plan of taking up some of the abandoned zoning with other buildings and car parks and stuff hopefully that's going to pay off when we turn on the demand mastering sort of force everything to grow back in it'll alter the amount of uh, industrial and commercial squares that we've got where we sort of had a balance before, before everything fell apart in the simulation. Hopefully the resulting uh, amount of commercial and industrial is going to be closer to what the game can handle. With any luck, the simulation will just start working again. Pretty much run out of other options. There's not many other things that could pop in to try and take up the space. I was optimistic that uh, the game would figure it all out itself. 
once it had lost a, a fair amount of zoning, it would re-establish its own balance and give us some demand again. Right, if you don't have any demand, can't grow the city. You can zone an area, but you can't make the buildings come in. Burger Kings in various places around the city. Say the delivery guys having to go all the way across the city. And pop in more KFCs as well. You can use that uh, sunken plaza. That's something we got off the workshop but we uh, haven't used. I presume that's going to have a relatively small size. Places that we can fit these in. And just to take up some space, I'll slightly raise the land value if it's not at max already. Make people slightly happier. Reduce the noise pollution, ground pollution if there is any nearby. Spamming parks forever. It's not really going to fix our problem. I don't know if we left it to run and run and run. Would all of the commercial and industrial eventually disappear? I don't know how happy a city of uh, half a million people would be if they had uh, nowhere to work and nowhere to buy things. See that working out for them. Yeah, a few more tweaks. Throw everything at it. Add in everything we've got. And then fall back on good old Demand Master. Hope for the best. If we get on some policies. If we turn on the industrial space planning, that makes the industrial make twice as many goods. I don't know if that'll help us. Rather than having infinite goods. I think that puts the industry at a disadvantage. Because then they're gonna have less customers twice as many goods. I don't know. We'll give it a try. Get the education boost on. And recreational use. Free public transport's expensive, but hey, we'll go for it. Anything to make our people happy. And that's all we can do. Sort of please the people policy-wise. Of harsh prison sentences. Don't know how much that will please people. It will please the criminals anyway. Our academic year reports through. We can turn this off now. Everything will be at prestigious, I'm sure. Yeah, we've done all the academic works. So everything is at prestigious, so we don't need any more of these. All the way down to 49A. Own a bigger chunk of this. Same plan as before. Just have less expectations on the simulation. Pretty sure the balance went wrong when the demand stopped for industrial. Pretty sure it is the commercial we need to remove. Come back next time with a little bit more work, a little bit more dezoning before we turn on Demand Master. Until then, take it easy. I'll see you all in the next one.